Hi everyone, and welcome to part two, Simplified. The reason I'm making this video is after some thought about the part two A and B, I didn't end up using this power strip as plan for extra devices. So I'm gonna show you a simpler way so you don't have to wire this in. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get rid of some of this and redraw this for part two, Simplified. All right, we're gonna leave our on off switch over here, wired in for now. I've erased the coil and the power strip wiring. We're gonna start over and I'm gonna move this coil over here. Since you already know you can wire a power strip in if you wanna do any 120 volt peripheral devices. We're gonna simplify this down one notch, less wiring. So from here on in, when I'm talking about relays, I'm gonna represent that as your coil. That as your normally open set of contacts, which you'll reference your relay or you'll reference this drawing if you're using the exact same relay. And this will represent your normally closed contacts. And I do believe you're not gonna be using any normally closed contacts on your relays for this build. So the first thing we want to do, we'll go back to our drawing, is you've got to bring your 12 volts down to your coil. Because this is a 12 volt coil, if you recall. And then, take your positive down to your coil. Alright, so our coil's out of the way. So now to simplify this, your power, if you recall, comes in here, and these wires are both three conductor wires. Your plug-in power comes in through your box, and from your ATX comes in from your box. And what you need to do we're going to run these wires for the sake of this drawing over on the back side to simplify. Like I said, there's three wires in each one of these cables. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your black wires out of each one of these cables, which is your hot, and you're going to run them in parallel to one side of your normally open contacts. Then in these cables you're going to have your neutrals which we're going to represent with orange because I don't have white to write on white. You take your neutral out of each cable and you'll run that to another set of normally open contacts. So these are your whites, which is your neutral. And these wires are your blacks, which equal hot. And then you're going to take your grounds out of those cables. You're going to ground those to your metal case with a screw if you're using metal. If you're using plastic and a metal case, I would still run a ground somewhere to the metal of the case. 
So now that we have our power to the one side, we turn this switch on. It senses the switch is on in this power supply and it sends our 12 and 5 volts out. In doing so, it sends the 12 volts down to the coil and when it does that, it closes these two sets of contacts, which our power is on one side. When that closes, we want the power to come out of here to our power supplies. So what we're going to do, you're going to take your ground, you're going to come over here, and on these power supplies that I bought, the ground is the third screw terminal. So you're going to lay in that ground under the third screw terminal. Then you're going to make a jumper and you're going to come up and you're going to go to the other power supply to the ground screw. Now that you have that done, you're going to take your hot from the other side of your normally open contacts, make sure it's a normally open. And you're going to go to terminal number one, which is your line on your power supply. Then the same thing. You're going to jumper it down to the other one. And excuse my drawing, I'm not going to get all fancy and put everything in straight lines and parallel with each other. And then on the other side of your other normally open contact, you're going to do the same thing. And you're going to come down to terminal number two, which is for your neutral. Make yourself a jumper, come up, and terminal number two. And it's easy as that. It'll simplify things. And then you won't have to add in that power strip that I did. The reason I added in the power strip is originally my thought was when I turned my switch on, that would supply an outlet that I was going to install on in the back of my case to run my router which I didn't do that because I would have had to change my relay to a higher amperage in order to run the power supplies for all my motors and to run my router. So my terminal strip in there is just doing nothing. If you want to wire an outlet or have some other 120 volt source you want to come up with, with your own idea, feel free to do the other way. And I mean, either way is proper. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's still going to work. You're going to come out with the same thing. So, that ends part two simplified. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out my links down below. I started a vlog page also, and I'll link that below. Check it out if you're interested in seeing what I do on occasion. It's not a daily vlog. It's just a vlog of interesting things I do throughout my days. Alright, have a great day. And soon, part three will be uploaded.